everybody, today I will show you how to prepare your push rod tubes for installation. So first of all you want to give it a check, so small dings are pretty okay, but if you have a really big dent I would suggest you to replace it, or if you see that it's rusted through or whatever. And then we have to get the length to 194 millimeters. So there's a tolerance, so it doesn't have to be exact, but uh, it's pretty good if you get it as close as possible. And of course it's kind of difficult to read it with a caliper because um, it's slightly bent to, to the installation if it's used, so uh, it sits slightly at an angle inside your caliper and it's not uh, possible to have it parallel with a caliper. But as I said, you have tolerances, which is uh, pretty much okay. So now you see that I got it to 194,4-ish, something like that, which is within the tolerance, which is fine. And now we will check the push rod uh, because you want it to be straight. So to check it, you can put it, for example, over a piece of glass. Or what you can also do is uh, put it within two. Or you can put it into a special device which measures runoff. Um, the runoff tolerance is 0 0.3 millimeters. So after that, what you want to do is check the the uh, the part the rocker is right on. And in my case, you can see that it's pretty warm because the previous owner didn't change the oil properly and particles got within it, which causes damage. So what you should do is replace it. What I will do is turn it by 180 degrees because I want to replace them with some uh, different ratio rocker arms from a um, Vanagon engine supplier in order to gain a few horsepower as they are uh, as they cost the same money at the end because nose parts are pretty expensive. So now what we will do is check the camshaft. First of all, you want to check it for pitting or any signs of wear. In my case, you can see that it's full of pitting, so it can't be reused. And you also need to measure the runoff, which you can check on the manual. Uh, if you're building an engine, you should really invest into a manual. That's my honest opinion towards you. I mean, uh, there are some numbers I can tell you because they're uh, engine or um, engine number specific so it's the best for you to invest to a manual so if you like this video like share subscribe so that you also don't miss the assembly video of the engine which will be the most interesting part I believe and that's it I wish you a nice day bye